it's Pete. Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm just feeding some turtles today. There's my little baby Reed's turtle that I found just a few weeks ago in the enclosure walking around. He's eating a little bit of our Fluker diet here, the buffet blend. It's got krill, mealworms, it's got their pellets. And this morning, what I'm gonna do, I'm up real early. Oh, by the way, Happy New Year. Hope you guys have had a fantastic and safe New Year. And uh, right now, man, I'm up early. It's a misty morning. The sun's just coming up, burning things off here at the camp. The mist is gonna be evaporating. But what I'm doing is I'm making a turtle treat. We're taking some of the Crafted Cuisine Aquatic Turtle Diet and we're mixing it in with the buffet blend. And uh, not only that, but I've got the turtle treats, the insect blend, which is really good stuff. It's got crickets and river shrimp and dry mealworms. Uh, so it's just a fun day for me. We're gonna be just tearing this all up, putting it in a bucket. I'm gonna head on out to the pond, all the ponds really, and feed some of these turtles. Uh, we're gonna see what turtles we can find, but then I wanna throw the cast net in because I wanna show you guys Inky. You will not believe what inky looks like so i like to do this i like to take all of my good stuff from my friends at fluker okay and what i like to do is make a treat here in this bucket so basically guys it's simple since i have so many turtles in the pond we're just dumping a lot of the foods in here okay and it is going to be an awesome new year's feast for my shelled friends and of course we're gonna get some fish as well because we need some fish to feed the girl inky and some of the monitors so it's just gonna be a fun day here i love it i love being up early and i really enjoy uh feeding my animals uh, check this stuff out if you guys are interested in it it's the crafted cuisine line of uh turtle food it's the turtle diet here this is for aquatic turtles they also make uh, crafted Cuisine Garden Blend for some of your bearded dragons, your mastics, any of your omnivorous reptiles, um, and also the uh, tortoise diet, which is really good. In the meantime, I'm so happy this little dude's enjoying their krill. What's cool about the buffet blend is it's got some of the krill, it's got the pellets, it's got some mealworms, so it's got a lot of things that will stimulate young turtles' appetite, which is very important. So what I said, or what I'm doing right now, is just tearing this stuff off, opening it up, and dumping it in. Now, this stuff actually is gonna sink to the bottom, which is kind of cool because it'll give turtles like the uh, Orlidia a chance to eat it off the bottom, and some of the other food is gonna float on the top, so you'll see that. So uh, let me go ahead and finish this up, and I'll be right back. All right, we've mixed up the food. I've even spread it out on this tray because you know who else loves this? Our Chinese box turtles absolutely go nuts for this. I wanna get them some food set up here for the day, and uh, man, this is really good stuff. It is pretty early here, but I like getting my chores done early in the morning to make sure these animals are super happy and healthy. And I'll tell you what else I'm gonna do. We're gonna grab some of the little ones here and wake them up early. Just kind of put them out here so their little sniffers can find that food. Let's see if we can find some more turtles down here below in this section. Oh, hello. There she is. There's Lola, hi Lola, and Guapo. What's up, Guapo? What you doing, buddy? Just getting up in the morning. I hear you, dude. Getting up early in the morning. Let's see, anybody here, anybody here? Any turtles here? Nope, but there are their forms. These guys love to burrow into the dirt, and it looks like that was the only one that was actually down below. It looks like the rest are over here. Check it out. Look at all this. Oh, there's two right here. Good morning, guys. You want to wake up and get the breakfast? Oh, come on. Oh, let me get you a little sniffers out there. Some of you are awake already. Some of you are not. Here's one. Check it out, kids. These guys are growing nicely. We're going to be getting babies of them, that's for sure. This is quite the habitat. Oh, come here. Oh, yowch, that hurt. He closed his, she closed her box right on my thumb. There we go. Oh, here's another one. Here is another one. This is the male. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, they really love this stuff and it's fun to watch them. I love checking in on these guys, watching them eat. 
and uh, just overall getting them excited. What, where are you going? All right, so she's not going to eat. What a lunatic. I think I woke her up and she's not happy about it, but some of them are starting to figure this out right now. Here comes one just plopped on down off the ledge. Great stuff, man. So I really like mixing up this concoction of the Crafted Cuisine Aquatic Turtle blend, the grubs, the insect grub bag, and the pellets because it really gives them a varied diet here of all kinds of different nutritious food that Fluker's come up with. And uh, Fluker's claim to fame, people, is they were a cricket farm and a worm farm, and they really are, uh, you know, the people that are invested in natural foods for your reptiles. And uh, they do it better than anybody else I've found. Look at her climbing up. How awesome is that, huh? Very cool. So, okay, these guys are going to go to town on their meal. And we're going to keep on moving because we have so many animals to get to today in this video. So let's do it. Oh, yeah, man. Last night also just, man, it was fireworks galore. I was in bed at 8.30. I don't even care about New Year's Eve anymore, man. I just go to bed because I just need to get things done in the morning. Here we go. Let's move it. Let's go to Sophia's pond and see who's up and at them early. There's my girl, Pinky. There she is. And here we go, right over here. And I'll explain to you why I like turtle food that will actually sink. Okay, so we're gonna take some of this. Let's see if we can get some of the turtles close by. Let's see if we can wake them up. Everything's looking real good here. I've planted some Grass is out there. That's going to take off in the radiated tortoise habitat. We've thinned out some of the ferns here so I can see the waterfall a little bit better. Here come our Central American sliders. So check it out. Just like to put it in this little cove. And you see how the crafted cuisine will sink. And why I like this is because it really shows the foraging behavior of turtles. They don't just eat off the top of the pond. They forage on the bottom. They'll walk around all day and it adds to their enrichment, which you guys know I love doing. Even reptiles need enrichment. And as usual, the four Central American sliders, they are the first ones to the food always. Much like red ears, sliders are very, very um, aggressive eaters. So they want to get over here. They want to get to the food. They're always first and they love it, man. Look at them right off the bottom. These guys are eating. That one right there is just doing what I want. Checking it out on the bottom. Let me see if I can get you guys a little bit. There you go. Now you can see. Just eating off the bottom. Very, very cool. And uh, yeah, it's just a good time over here, man. So I'll take a little bit more. And maybe I'll chuck it over here for some of the other turtles. And as I said, this stuff will sink to the bottom. And what's great about it is it doesn't get sucked into the uh, wetland filter over there so quickly so very important that we actually get some of this food that stays here in the pond that these guys are going to eat up so they'll have that throughout the day and we're going to keep on moving there they are the radiated there's some food left they'll nibble on that throughout the day there's a radiated in the food tray there and then again guys girls we are right here just to see who's doing their thing some food in there just a couple handfuls we don't really need a lot they're gonna wander around and eat that all day there's the Badiger morniensis the painted river terrapins in there about to make itself known gonna sniff out some of that food there you go boom nice and then I'll even take some of this and we'll just throw it right there in the ring and we'll attract some of the cichlids and some of the turtles on this side like our musk turtle here our mexican musk turtle stereotypus salvani i love this turtle there are two left after our onslaught of raccoons there's a male and a female so hopefully we'll get some babies and i can really repopulate uh the ponds there he is it's early so everyone's slow moving at the moment but again, I did a little yard work. We tore out a lot of the ferns and uh, thinned things out here. I think it's looking good. Um, 
I just wanted to clean it up a little bit, keep those grasses up there because I really like that look and I like the habitat for some of the semi-aquatic turtles to come out and kind of do their thing. He's still waking up and deciding, ah, oh, do I want to expel any energy getting this delicious food? I think he will. Here he comes. Really, really cool turtles though. And they hit hard when they hit. They can bite hard too. So you got to watch out for the musk turtles. They can be pretty cantankerous when agitated. Oh, look at this, guys. The Hamiltonite's woken up. Beautiful turtle. I love my spotted, Indian spotted turtles. So pretty. Really psyched that I have these turtles here. And she's gonna come on over and do her thing. Gosh, that's beautiful, huh? Love it. It's so much fun visiting with the animals early in the morning. Getting them woken up, getting them fed, just a good time. Okay, still going though. So much to do, so much to do. Everyone's just enjoying those first rays of sunshine. And I'll tell you, it's been a great winter so far. It's been nice and warm, about 85 degrees every day. Ah, oh, it's so good. And uh, you could feel that warmth right now from the sun. And the mist is starting to burn off. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so, so cool to be up early, man. I love it. I love getting up early and being out with my animals as much as possible. What about you guys? Do you do that? Do you like to wake up and just see what's... Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm getting old. Anyway, we made it over. I like this. Okay, so this, simply, we're just going to get some attention Make, make myself known here, and the easiest way to do it is to just start chucking food out. Now remember, a lot of this stuff is gonna sink. So maybe I'll go on over here to this beach. And this way, I'll be able to just squat down, take this stuff and start dispersing it here. And what'll happen is all the turtles can nibble off the stuff on the bottom, on the top. And like I said, we have so many of our or Lydia, which are bottom feeding turtles most of the time they just wander along the bottom and those guys are going to really enjoy eating this as are the fish here come the fish so everyone's coming right now this is a great diet for these guys to have and i've really mixed up quite a lot because we've got over 100 turtles here in this pond and they are starting to wake up and eat there we go, here come the fish. And this is just one of my favorite things. Like when I first came to Florida, I have a friend, Tara Hamilton, and she was a professional wakeboarder. And um, her family showed me around. I visited once and I always knew I wanted to live in Florida. And she actually found this house um, on the MLS listings for the real estates. And she's like, you should check this house out. Look at this pond. And it was an aerial view of this pond. And that's pretty much what sold it for me. A pond this big already on the property. Man, I didn't have to do any work except move in. And that's not true because I wound up doing a lot of work. Oh, look, there's a soft shell. There's one of the soft shells. How cool. Hey, buddy. It's a big female soft shell. Anyway, this has just been the greatest place for me to live. I absolutely love it. I'm super thankful that I'm able to afford this place and keep it up. And thankful to you guys, man. Every year since 2013, we've been at this YouTube game. Uh, we're slow and steady, and we just keep on getting better every year. And I just want to say thanks, man. You know, New Year's is a time to reflect on the past and look towards the future and start over and reach new goals and new heights. And that's what we're going to be doing. You guys know what we have planned here if you've been watching the channel. Here's a big Orlydia right here. Look at him coming on up. Bam, that's a big mouth. Um, you guys know we're getting, getting Fred's gators here real soon. I'm going to be busting my hump the next few weeks to make that enclosure dialed in so we can get those beautiful animals here safe and sound. We've got Cayman coming. We've got more collaborations this year. And um, hopefully things in the world calm down so we can get out travel around a bit more again because that was always another love of ours let's keep throwing some food out here for him because we got a lot of food and i'm just yapping on 
But I'm super thankful, guys. Super excited that you get to spend time with me, that we do these videos and you guys hang out with me. Um, really appreciate each and every one of you that enjoys these videos and watches them with me. We're going to, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm probably going to dump the rest of this because I want to throw that, I want to go ahead and throw the uh, good old cast net out so that I can catch some fish because I'd like to give the monitors some fish today. I like to vary their diet. So let's go ahead. I'll put you guys over here so I can use both hands to chuck this out properly. You guys just enjoy the view. I think you can see. It's going to be pretty easy, everyone. It's it's not rocket science. Oh, there we go. Nice. Dude, look at all that food. These guys are going to be very happy. Um, they will come from far and wide to eat this food. Let's get a little bit of water in here and uh, rinse out the rest of the food and then we'll go ahead and throw that cast net. I don't want to take too much time. I don't need a lot. I just really want to show you Inky and see if I can get Inky um, eating some fish. She's been eating some. She took her first chick a few days ago and uh, I'd like to get her some fish because fish is a really great food for these water monitors and monitors in general it's got a lot of good oils and it's very good for them easy to digest so that's what we're gonna do we got to come up with fish that are gonna be the right size for our gal inky and as you'll see inky's uh doing pretty good on the size department she's impressive oh there we go nay negatore it's gonna be one of those days, people. It is gonna be one of those days. Oh no, they're so big they can rip this net. You see him? Look at the size of this guy. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, hold on. You are uh, collateral damage here. Man, I hope there are fish to be caught out here. Where is everyone? See you later, Mr. Turtle. Let's go over here again. You know what they say about fishing, right? It's a day on the boat. And I don't know if they even say that. I just made that up. Let's try what's going to become the gator pond. Ooh, that was not a good drop. I'm having a crap time finding fish. Finally, I got a fish, everybody. Well, there it is. All right, I gotta go back to my bucket. Hold on. Okay, clearly these fish have got me fooled, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get them some of the uh, koi food and some crock chow. Let's see if they'll eat that. And we're gonna chuck it right there. Let's see how that does. Hey, even the birds are laughing at me. Okay, well, you know what? I can't do this any longer. We got one fish. I'm not getting any fish in my pond. I am um, coming up Snake eyes, I say. I don't even know. I don't even know what gambling turn that is, but it's not good. It's not good. All right, let's go. Let's go see. Hey, look at this ahinga. Yeah, good job. He's going to get all the fish. That's probably what's going on. Birds have eaten all my fish. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go see if we can entice our little Inky out. It's not easy, she's very shy. But we will try. What's up, little squirrel? Little irradiated tortoises. We gotta go ahead and get. Man, I don't know though. That fish might be too big for her. Hmm. I might have to come up with something else. What else can I come up with in a quick fix? Okay. Alright, people. So uh I sold out. We're going to feed, we're going to draw her out with a uh, little mouse. Um, the fish beat me today. What can I say? All right, let's get in here though. Let's see what we can find. I want you to see the inks because she's looking mighty fine these days. I'm going to crawl on in here and we're going to see if we can coerce her to come out. I love this little aquascape hide that I created from their stumps, their faux stumps. It's very, very cool. It works awesome. Let's see. Let's get our little gal to come on out here. Shall we? Yes, we shall. All right. So 
I'm gonna grab it. And what I do is this. There she comes. We gotta pull her all the way out before she actually gets here. Wait. I gotta open. I gotta open, says me, this thing. Oh, oh no, no! <laughs> I screwed up. Oh no, I screwed up. She only, oh my God, this video, this video, is the bane of my existence right now. <laughs> oh God, happy new year. I am sweating, I'm filthy. I didn't catch any fish. And Inky stole the mouse right out of my fingers. Where is she? And you can't even see her in there. Oh no. Anyway, I'll tell you what. What I've learned is, <laughs> don't force it, okay? Inky wins, the fish have won, but the turtles did get fed. I think that's that. I think, I think we'll have to wait for another video for you guys to see just how big Inky has gotten. Um, she is a character, as you can see. And um, I don't know. But hey, I am thankful. Super thankful for you guys. Super thankful for uh, all the great friends, new and old, uh, that I met in the last year and that I hope to meet some new friends this year and new folks like you who maybe are just discovering uh, these videos. Don't judge me on this one alone though. But um, anyway, I will see you guys many, many more times throughout the next year and hopefully in the years to come. Thanks for the support. You guys rule. I'm gonna get out of this lizard enclosure. Oh, there we go. Hey, I'm still pretty limber, still pretty limber. Okay, and uh, yeah, good times. But you know, sometimes you win them, can't win them all. I don't know, what am I saying? Uh, sometimes you win some, you lose some. And uh, I think today I lost some. But uh, you guys are awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put this video out because it's a reality program, isn't it, folks? I'm keeping things real, real messed up. Here's Crazy Sophia. I'll see you later. Happy New Year!